Okay, so uh, welcome back to those of you who've been uh, watching some of the other tutorials we've been uh, doing today. It's the 19th of March, 2024. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this very short uh, tutorial, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to, um, one, show you how to build a content curation uh, site like the one you're about to see very, very quickly. And two, just show you the actual process uh, by which I curate content uh, very quickly, very efficiently, and it's actually very enjoyable and a lot of fun. So uh, I'm going to walk you through a just a simple content curation process, and then we're going to actually go over the steps uh, in a second. So let's look at some templates. This is the Circle uh, Framework Community. You can see it's pretty active. Well, you can't see that yet. Now you can. So there's you know a lot of people sharing lots of great content. This is a really good example, by the way, of circle done right. So if you're looking for a really good example of a circle site that looks great, this is a good uh, example. All right, so let's look really quickly at a, um, a cool directory style theme for Framer. All I want to do here actually is link to this. So because that's the curation piece. So I'm copying that URL. I'm going to go back to Framer Love, and this is actually why I'm using WordPress. Uh, you know, ironically, for a curated collection of Framer resources, because it has this really great plugin that I bought a number of years ago. That's really, really awesome for curating content. So I'm just going to paste that URL right here. And generally, I would do a whole bunch of other things that I'm not going to do uh, right now. Like I'd add and embellish extra content here, as you'll see me describe elsewhere. But here, I'm just going to paste this in. And I'm going to uh, uh, add that to the Framer directory category. And that's it. I'm now going to publish this. Now, generally, like I said, I'd make some edits to this, and I can still do this later, and I probably will do it later. But you can see this is now live on the site that quickly. All right. So if you go to con continue reading, there's a link now back to where we started, the Framework Community template section. And it's the content that the uh, dude who you know, created the, um, you know, the post on the framework community sharing his theme, right? So this is all he, his words. Generally, I'd add a little extra parenthetical content here, and I'd add a picture, and you can do all that from, you know, the edit post. This is, again, ostensibly all just basic WordPress 101 sort of stuff. So hopefully, if you're watching this, you understand what that is, right? So now we're going to look at this. It has a picture. It has the content. I might do some other things to change this and beautify it a little bit and add some extra content. But you can see it's now live on the site right here. All right. So let's go really quickly to our mini course. And I will show you exactly how this is done very, very quickly. And you can do this with you know three sites, five sites, seven sites, 10 sites. It doesn't matter. Like if I want to do just this full time and build these like mini directories, mini curated content sites in any local niche, marketplace, vertical industry, or otherwise, I could do it with super speed. And you know, you can sell them, you can use them to build a relationship with your professional peers, your niche neighbors, as you'll see in a second. All right. So the step one is just find content in your niche market vertical or industry that's worth sharing. As we just demonstrated, in this case, we went to the Framer Circle community for recently added templates because Framer Love is our site about the best Framer templates, tools, people, platforms, plugins, et cetera, that we like and recommend. So it, you know, it's a perfect message to market match. Uh, step two is you're gonna add content like you just saw me do. In this case, we're gonna add links using the front end submission tool on Framer Love, which is a special plugin that is installed on that site that gives that site uh, content curation superpowers. Step number three, as I described a moment ago, um, you know, update content is optional. So if you can add pictures like you saw me do, you can optimize and improve the content in a whole bunch of different ways. You can add extra, you know, parenthetical thoughts or opinions or ideas or perspectives, 
et cetera, predicated on the content that you're adding, right? In this case, it's a frame or template. There ain't a whole hell of a lot to say about it other than I could say, hey, I really like this for this purpose or that purpose, et cetera. All right. You can even uh, like sometimes at night, I'll come back to these sorts of sites. I have a bunch of them and I'll like make some changes. I'll, I'll add extra content or some, you know, extra little stuff that gives the post a lot more appeal to the, you know, the audience that I'm targeting as well as to the authors that I'm curating, right? So I may say some other nice things about that author that I won't do in real time. So when I ping that author later to let them know that we've added their content to our community, you know, there's some extra nice stuff about them that's going to make them much more willing to share it. All right, ping, notify, and compliment. Reach out to folks to let them know their content was curated, included, added, or mentioned in your community. Complimentary complimentary content is a curator's best friend, right? Anything that you're going to do in life, if you choose to be complimentary to other folks, you're going to find the ease in which your um, sort of entry way into that space is accelerated and accentuated by dint of being kind to people, saying nice things. Don't be a dick, right? You can just be super nice all the time and only share things that make you happy or that make other people happy. And people are going to be your people will evangelize for your content, your community, your blog, your brand, etc. When you flatter them with nice things. So you can see here, this is an example just from the other day. I guess that was the sixth of 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 march i guess you can see the dates aren't my uh, four day but it feels like it was not so long ago but i guess it was a couple of weeks ago so this person who i don't know and i don't know anyone in the framework community and i'm certainly not a framework expert but this person wrote big thanks to ian hollander for having featured my checklist on framer love really appreciate it and then he links to my site right and then of course other people start coming to the site in droves because this dude is sharing something of his that I curated on, on our community. It's really that simple. I said something nice. He appreciated it. He saw it. I don't even think that I pinged this dude. I might have. I don't even know. But I don't remember. But nonetheless, this just works like magic in pretty much every single market you will ever attempt to enter. Be nice. Be kind. Say nice things. You don't have to be one of these, like, you know, sort of, um, you know, antagonistic asshole kind of personalities to do really really well really quickly on social media right i see so much of that sort of negative content like people who are just being you know intentionally ignorant in the service of trying to draw attention to themselves and in the end that's a losing strategy for our species and it's a losing strategy i believe as well for one's own mental health and in the fullness of time for your entrepreneurial endeavors too. All right, if you have questions about any of this, you can ask. I'm gonna publish this on our private uh, community LMS. So if you're in our, uh, you know, our course community, you can take this course for free as long as you're part of our uh, 2024 uh, cohort. And if you're in our Gumroad uh, community and you're checking that at, this out there, feel free to ask me questions and I will answer uh, them to the best of my ability. This is spelled wrong. That should be love, as you just saw. That's Framer Love. I don't know why I didn't realize that that says Lopvi or something similar. All right, and that's it. This is the next course, which we're not gonna cover here. Okie doke, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. That is content curation made really, really super easy using a simple plugin, which is here, which gives you the ability to add just all these different sorts of content links, which you just saw me use, the lists, classic lists, galleries, embeds, you know, open lists, personality quizzes, hot or not versus trivia quizzes, memes. It's really awesome. And if you incorporate a you know a knowledge of how to do this the right way i mean video audio etc if you i mean you know the way i just showed you how i do it is to my eye the right way and you know i can build these out 
again, with such super speed that, you know, and, and you're building an asset, right, that is predicated on other people's content, but you're doing it in a way, like you just saw, that other people want to share. They want to tell other people that their content is on your community because you're featuring positive things or things that you recommend and or um, you know stuff that you find interesting or entertaining or worth considering not everything that i'm sharing is like super duper positive some of that stuff some of the communities are you know more editorialized so there's opinion and that sort of thing um you know so you don't want to just be pollyannish about what you're sharing you want to be positive but you also want, you know, if you're depending on the kind of platform you're publishing, um, again, I don't want to go too far into this. I'm just trying to say that, you know, not everything is like super flattering to people. You want to actually in engender some level of conversation, again, depending on, you know, the sort of business that you're interested in building. But for framer templates, certainly I have no interest in saying other, sharing anything other than stuff that is good, right? I mean, you know, I'm not going to be sharing bad things and being like, well, what do you guys think about, you know, let's compare these two uh, sites, you know, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be like, you know, like bring somebody down and elevate somebody uh, else. You just want to basically share the things that you like. It's like if you're cu curating your favorite Amazon products, you're not going to also curate <laughs> the Amazon products that you would never buy, right? You would just leave those alone because you're not interested in that. So that's kind of the model that I recommend for uh, this sort of site. And again, unless you're doing longer form uh, editorial sort of content, it's a very positive, generally uh, complimentary kind of content that other people are enthusiastic to share. I'll show, I'll show, uh, I can't speak. Here's another example of a site that I shared in our community. I know some of you have seen this already as well. This is built on Ghost, uh, but it's, you know, it's similar. It's just a local community of we're featuring, you know, positive things happening in, you know, a local, um, you know, South Jersey business community. Again, largely I'm teaching these folks how to, you know, create content, uh, you know, sell, create digital downloads, courses, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. But we also do, you know, like a daily dose of deliciousness every day where I try to share something or I have someone else working on this as well who's curating uh, content around, you know, food, right? So, I mean, stuff like this. You know, again, it's all content curation. I didn't record this. Uh, someone else did. I don't know this dude, but, you know, somebody else shared this with us uh, on a Facebook page. And, you know, I included this in our daily dose of delicious. All right. Anyway, you get the point. It's all content curation at bottom. It's just different tools, different platforms and different um, sort of tech stacks. But, at, at you know, at the end of the day, it's really all generally the same thing. And it follows the exact, you know, model that I laid out right here. Okie doke. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you have questions, as always, feel free to ask. By the way, if you want to, to see a site like that set up from beginning to end, uh, like the, the WordPress site, I will uh, create a little course on that and add it to this. If you're interested, uh, leave a comment or, um, you know, get in touch and let me know. And I'm happy to do that because it literally would take, you know, 40 minutes to set the whole thing up and show you how you could do the same thing and, you know, kind of get a jump start on this whole process if that is exactly uh, what you're aiming to accomplish. In other words, if you want to build something like this, uh, and you want to see every step that I do to, to get it from, you know, zero to, you know, to, to ready to go. I'm happy to add that to a course uh, and share it with you as well. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. And I appreciate you watching.